because you're alone, but like this, because you've got a dog, four-legged friend. You want it to look like this? Well, this is how you fix it. Stick around. Welcome back, one and all. You can tag the gates. Um, so, quick video on this one about lawn care on how I see it. And basically, I've seen lots and lots of people discussing on Facebook forums about big green patches, like I've got on my lawn at the minute, uh, on what they are, why it's happened, and how I can rectify them. So, hopefully, by the end of this video, we can see them slightly more disguised. Um, so, let's have a bit of a closer look. So here we go, my back garden, uh, as it is. It's, uh, yeah, that's a bit better, that there. So as you can see, maybe out of colours, we've got some browns, we've got some light greens, we've got some yellows, and we've got some lovely, lovely dark greens. Now, the dark greens are from my wonderful pooch, Hunter, using this as his own personal toilet. As you can see, it's looking very very vivid on here uh you can see so the main reason where they are either is squats if it's having a big pee or it's where the goals have been and the nets and stuff like that uh so yeah it's a case of the ground the area of the grass getting a massive shot of nitrogen almost like if, i don't know if you compare it to giving it yeah having some red bull maybe and giving that you know that energy boost so it's having a you know a big shot of nitrogen through the urea. Uh, fortunately, Hunter, uh, he spreads his urine about all over the place. He doesn't usually go in the same places on the lawn on a regular basis, um, so it doesn't burn. So if you get anything where it's, say, for example, like this area, where you'd have a big green patch, like this, lovely green and lush, but in the middle it's all dead and brown. That's because the concentrated urea has burnt the grass and killed it off and you have to go through a little bit of a reseed there and uh, and get it back up to scratch um but fortunately i don't get that with hunter maybe it's because of his diet maybe it's because of uh, the amount of water that he drinks it dilutes it or maybe i've just got very lucky with the dog but what we're going to do on here now because it's the right mess um we don't get looked after as much at the minute one because of the ground being as soft as it still is even though we're in june yeah you can tell bloody heat is almost close to going on it's bloody June the 8th. Um, we're hoping, you know, to, to put some drains in here and try and get rid of this clay soil. But that'll be next year's job, I think, due to the cost it's going to be and the amount of work that's required with everything we've got on. So I might do one other thing to try and get over the clay soil. I've not decided on that yet. We'll wait and see. Um, but yeah, give you my lovely face again. Oh. So what we're going to try and do, and then my pants, uh, is utilise um, what a lot of people have, is the feeds that they'll have, just to see if you can bring this up to a reasonable specification, a reasonable look for the rest of the summer uh, before we do some work on it. Uh, so what we're going to do now is just stick some feed on it and come back in a week. We're doing it now because it's supposed to rain tonight, so that'll help water it in. And hopefully we'll get a bit more of a, a colour, um, boost across the whole lawn and bring it into line with uh hunter's pig stains shall we say but yeah so don't worry don't fret if you've got a dog and you get any bits like that hopefully just a bit of nitrogen a bit of a feed will give us a little bit more of a, a nice bright green color so we'll get on with that now obviously i'm going to be using the green care stuff the angus amenities ultimate spring summer it's got the um 10 4 4 it's uh, uh mpk rating it's got the added calcium added magnesium it's got a little bit of iron in there i think a little bit of seaweed in there it's all the good stuff which will hopefully bring this up and make it a little bit more pleasing to the eye you know and out of that i'll just get hunters pee all over it because those green spots if it was all that color it'd be absolutely lovely and lush so let's get on with that and here we've got approximately 12 and a half kilos of the Angus Amenity uh, 1044 Ultimate Spring and Summer. 
going on at a uh, high rate, around about 50 grams per meter squared. So we should see a lovely green up in 10, 10 day, week, 10 days, depending on the weather and how we get from there. So stick you over here, different view. You see some walk pushing. It's got spread about distributing some bits and pieces. Setting 27. folks so let's uh fast forward in time now seven days and see where we're at and we'll cut it then we've not had a cut for a week so hopefully it's been reasonably dry and wet all week wet at the beginning and dry so we can get on mowing next week wet in the beginning so it'll uh, break down this uh, lovely fertilizer and make it lovely and lush let's see you in a week and let's transport there no i put back the lorry's not worked properly though it's wednesday not sunday so it's not been seven full days but i thought i'd get on here tonight and give it a cut because um as we can see we've seen a little bit of um positive coloring and growth from the 1044 but it's not caught up to the uh, urine spot so plan is to give it a cut so all the length is the same, tidy it up a bit. Uh, we've got a lot of rain coming. So when we put the 1044 on, on Sunday, it was, um, it, it chucked it down about an hour later and it lasted for about six hours. Um, so because of that, we it, it's all watered in nice and well. So we've done a good job there, perfect timing. So if you're putting fertilizer right, have a look at the weather forecast, that should save you on water. So we've done that but it's it's looking a little bit better but not where i want it to be so i've ordered some other stuff to try and um push it a little bit more so what i'm going to intend on doing someone's falling off the bike i think um he's give it a cut put some lines in it some guidelines so when this stuff comes i can put it out and hopefully within the week it's going to get to the point where we want it to and everything's with really the same colour. So, yeah, we're getting on time lapse and we'll just do a bit of an infill there. But you can see, still got the heavy green spots, uh, but we'll try and uh, eliminate them very shortly. idea we've got some lovely stripes on there for what it is um but the feed's not really give it that kick that I was hoping for as I was saying um we're wanting have more of a thicker blade like this because it's had a gallon of pee on it shall we say from him yeah, bloody suspect. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, right, I'll walk off.
Um, but yeah, most of it is, as you can see, look dry. It could do with a scarification, so I do know that. It's one of the things that I should be looking at doing, but it's down to time. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's getting all the concentrating on two foot lawns. This is more of a, can I get it? Imagine well, I've got a barbecue in two weeks from last week when I put it down. I need to get it green. I need to get it lush. What can I do? Will feed just work? Well, at the minute, after three days, it's slowly working. Slowly it's improved. And it's also going to be improving underneath with the stuff that's in it. Um, again, I see if I can just try and because it is a bit dark out here, a bit better. But yeah, see if we can just get it some light, like if you've got family coming around, what can you do? You're not going to scare a fire. So the feed is feeding slowly, but we need something more. So I've ordered it. Hopefully, you can see him, it's not turning around. One, two, three. There I am. Some, uh, some secret sauce, as we call it. Well, yeah, um, and we'll hopefully put it on tomorrow night before the rain. But it all depends on if it arrives in time, um, and we'll go from there. And hopefully by Sunday, it'll be looking green and lush and thick. Um, but we'll wait until then. We'll see. So we'll be filming tomorrow night or Friday night. We shall see. But we'll zoom to there now. We're back again. Mm -hmm. Day. Tuesday the 18th of June you see 18th of June so England narrowly beat Serbia in the weekend after that after a few beers watching that this point in move on to Denmark uh, game on Thursday wedding anniversary that'll be a tough one but anyway we're here for the lawn so let's have a look and see what we've got and I think I don't know if you can agree but we're just over, but I think we're 10 days then. No, nine days now, nine days. And it's looking a lot better than what it was after nine days. So just putting down the Angus immunity stuff. Obviously we still need to scarify, but those people that don't want to do that thought, sort of thing, you know, just want to get a bit of a green up. Adding the fertilizer will work. It takes about, like I say, 10 days, seven days depending on the weather, depending on the state of the lawn beforehand, but this was a mess. It was a lot better, but we want to try and kick it on. Do a little bit more. So, let's have a look and see if we can do something a little bit more, which should give it that, that punch, that knock on, that, you know, that little bit extra. That little steroid kick that I was talking about. And the stuff's finally arrived. It's finally arrived. <laughs> So, let's play about with that, and we'll put it on the lawn. I've already um, had the sprayer out, calibrating it, so I know I need six litres of water for this, but let's put it on and go from there. So, ladies and germs, this is apparently all you need. This. Now, that there, is hopefully what will help just bring that lawn on a little bit more. Zoomed in, don't we? Oh. We can do that, but yeah. So that there. So let's mix it. Make a lovely little pint, like the cocktail section on um that Sunday morning brunch. Sunday brunch that used to be on BBC with uh, him from Timblejoy. Simon Rimmer. So we'll put that in there, a bit of warm water. I'll give it a stir. What if put a bit of seaweed in? Our spreader. Our sprayer, should I say. Oh, look at that. So that there. A lot of kids shouting in the house. This here is the super potent weapon of mass destruction. Well, hopefully it's not mass destruction. 
mass greenation, shall we say. So you can see, put a bit of seaweed in there as well. Always add the seaweed. And bottoms up. Put a bit of water in there, get the last few drags out. I've got the legs on. Why well, you got me legs in there, aren't you? Always apologising on this channel. That'll be the, uh, the jug for that. And move the net and we'll get the spray on. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, now we wait and see if the application rate, as per the guidelines, does a job. We shall see. Um, there's just a bit left in there. So I think with the addition of the pint of water plus seaweed that I put in, they always give it a good glug. Left us with just about a litre in there, so probably still about six. Six litres across the lawn. But yeah, I don't know if I should spray that on the front. I'll leave it and spray it tomorrow, see how this looks. But on that, let's leave it for 24 or 48 hours, we'll see. But I'll see you then. Let's go there now. And we're back. It's Thursday, it is the 20th of June, it's my wedding anniversary, 10 wonderful years with my wife, England have just played absolutely appallingly in the Euros, but anyway, last of this video chat, last of this video chat, last of this video um, series if you will, well, so we're about 11 days post granular fertiliser and two or three days post liquid fertiliser and I think it's... Um, it's improved it quite a lot from what it was, as you can see. Not on the gimbal today, so that'll be a bit steady. Uh, but we're still seeing a bit of dead matter there. So we could do with getting a scary fire out and going over that. Uh, obviously, there's lots of power and stuff like that. But the colour has improved significantly. Um, there's a bit more blending in, and it'll continue to blend in a little bit more over the coming days as the grass is fed a little bit more. But yeah, I think that's a bit more of a, a result. So, can you improve your lawn with just a bit of fertiliser, both liquid and granular, to give it a kick and bring the cup and hide the dog pee spots? Yes, you can. Can you bring it up to a fantastic specification um, and get it all lovely? No, you need to do a bit more work than that. But I think it's growing a lot better. Here he is, smooth criminal. Um, here down this side I think we've been a little bit more eager with the liquid ferts on this side because it's a lot darker here so I might give it another dose of liquid nitrogen the uh, stuff that I tried and uh, one more round but yeah I think that's it for that one so anyway thank you very much everyone who's watched this super long video now do apologize and um, yeah probably do a little bit more tomorrow on this video b-roll if you want to call it but yeah everyone who's like subscribe comments brilliant if you want to subscribe feel free uh, and we'll be doing something more with our grass in the next videos i think but yeah i think there's a reasonable result there not like the england game come on gareth drop bellingham get trent out bring on palmer and we'll do well so thank you very much real morning morning club big shout out yeah bruh i like the t-shirt very good and we'll see you on the next one. I'll be the same. Okay, this is why it's not going to be perfect, but it is perfect. Hello. That's YouTube channel. That's his. Whoa! I'll be the same.